Hello. Thank you for joining me for another perfectly normal video. I'm Benny Dunville. So today, Solid State Logic unveil a brand new addition to their desktop audio interface line, the SSL 12. Let's take a look. As the name suggests, the SSL 12 is a 12-channel audio interface. It's USB-C bus-powered and the bigger sibling to SSL's 2 and 2 Plus interfaces. On the front panel, we have four analog input channels, each with the SSL mic amp designed for this family of interfaces. Clean, with lots of gain, very nice. Each channel has selectable 48 volts phantom power, a high pass filter, and can be switched to function at line level for line input sources. The legacy 4K switches are included for each of the analog input channels too. The 4K circuit is an analog path and gives a slight lift to the top end and some subtle saturation. Channels one and two also have high impedance instrument inputs, handy for directly plugging in guitars or bass. Inputs are on the back of the unit and are on Neutrik combi jack connectors, so I can take either an XLR or a quarter inch jack input connection. And whilst we're looking at the back of the unit, we also have MIDI in and out, and of course the ADA in port, which will allow you to connect an ADA enabled preamp or other device to bring SSL 12's input count up from 4 to 12. Regarding outputs, SSL 12 gives us four balanced output connections on the back of the unit. In most cases, outputs 1 and 2 will be paired and used as your main stereo output to feed your speakers. Outputs 3 and 4 can be used for whatever you like, perhaps to feed a nice hardware mix bus chain. You can even set them up to feed a secondary set of monitors and then flip between them with the alt switch on the front panel. Also on the front panel is a cuts button to quickly mute all audio and a talk button to enable talkback because yes, the SSL 12 has a built-in talkback mic and then we've also got this big fat chunky output knob which controls the level of your monitor bus. SSL 12 also features two independent headphone outputs. You can use two sets of headphones playing back the same audio or set them up separately to play back different Q mixes. The headphone amps have got a good amount of power so can drive high impedance headphones with ease. The volume for the headphone outputs can be controlled directly from the knobs on the front panel. The headphone outputs are also switchable to act as balanced line outputs giving you an extra pair of stereo outputs should you need them. Another cool feature is that all of the outputs on SSL 12 are DC coupled and able to send a plus minus 5 volt signal to allow CV control of CV enabled equipment. This is excellent for all synth, Euro rack, modular and Ableton nerds who do all of that weird stuff. Good for you guys, proud of you. Christmas, you disgusting rodents. SSL 12 has full compatibility with SSL 360. This new page gives you a mixer view of SSL 12 where you can visually see and manage all of your routing and playback options. You can see your analog and digital channels before they hit the door. Configure your monitor bus by choosing to monitor channels pre-door or mute the channels instead opting to monitor back through your door via the playback channels. If you'd like a full 12 track pre-door monitor mix, you can do that, balancing levels with faders and pan positions. You can use track sends to set up your headphone mixes, dialing in exactly what gets fed to them and by how much. 360 also gives you full control over how the talkback is set up, which channels and headphone amps it gets routed to, and of course the level of it. You can also alter the behavior of the headphone outputs, changing them to line level, unbalanced, or adjusting them to best match the impedance or sensitivity of your headphones. You can even make adjustments to the buttons on the front of SSL 12. The three buttons in the monitor section are user customizable with extra functions such as dim, mono sum, and phase invert left available to choose from. There's lots more that you can do within SSL 360 and probably some functions and features of SSL 12 that I forgot to mention. But maybe go and read the manual if you want to know more instead of relying on me. Do I look like a reliable source of information right now? 
Because SSL 12 is USB class compliant, it means no drivers are needed for it to function on Mac OS. Simply plug it in and it will work. But what that also means, and what was an unexpected surprise to me, was that it can be plugged directly into an iPad via USB-C and turn the SSL 12 into an iPad audio interface. You can use GarageBand or any of the other countless iPad music making apps alongside SSL 12 to make music on the go, which is exactly what I did. SSL 12 joined me over the last summer as I visited the great nations of Sweden, Italy, and Wales. Hey, boy. It was an excellent travelling companion and worked great for jotting down ideas in the mountains or at the lakes. And I can say with full confidence that SSL 12 is an absolutely perfect product when it comes to looking like a pretentious idiot on an airplane. It also makes for an ideal prop for when you want to pose for a saucy, homoerotic poolside photo with the boys down at the Tuscan Villa after a few Negronis. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's going to be it for this one. SSL 12 is out now. Go check it out. There won't be any more videos from me this year, so I hope you all enjoy the rest of your 2022 and the Christmas season, if that's your thing. And I wish you all an acceptable 2023. I'll see you next time. Now remember, don't mention the lawyers. I have been advised by the lawyers as No, well. go again! I would voluntarily like to just say that under no circumstances should you get the SSL 12 wet. Whether that be a light drizzling of rain or bathed deeply in the warming, mystical waters of the Fountain of Youth, it is not advised. During the production of this video, I did not realise that at the time of shooting, I was, in fact, fully submerged in a hot tub. Nor did anyone inform me that I was in a relaxing pool of bubbling 40 degrees water. And for that, I am so, so sorry. And with that disclaimer out of the way, I'm not going to say goodbye again. Let's just end the video with some beautiful recordings to show the crystal clear sound of the preamps on SSL 12.